Hello everyone, this is Leo from Generates Press and Generates Blocks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a post meta like this using block element and Generates Blocks. Let's get started. First, let's go to Dashboard, Plugins, and make sure we have GP Premium version 2.0 Alpha 3 installed along with Generates Blocks. Now let's go to Appearance, Elements, add new, and select block. Under element type, we will select post meta template. Here are some templates that you can just click and import. Today we're going to build something similar to this one. You can set the location where you want the post meta to be inserted after post title, before post title, after content, or use a custom hook. Then replace default primary post meta allows you to remove this element that comes in default. We will turn that on today. Let's add a container block. The main option to note here is the inline post meta items. This is required if you want to add multiple items in one line. We will visit the alignment option later. Let's style the container starting with topography. Then spacing. Then colors, and if you have Generates Blocks Pro, you can add in some box shadow effect. Now let's add some content. We will start with a GP dynamic image. Choose author avatar and make image rounded. Next, we will add a headline block. We will choose div Click dynamic options, choose post author name, and that links to author archives. Now let's give it some spacing option. Let's add the next headline block. We will choose div for this one. Dynamic options, post date. So you have the option to use the published date or the updated date. If you choose the published date, you can also replace it with the updated date. Then you can add a before text for each of them if you want. Let's configure the spacing option. Let's add another headline block. Choose div, dynamic options. This time we will add comments number and we will go with number only. Link will link to the comments area. Configure the spacing option. We 
then add in our icon. Next, we will add a buttons block for the categories. List of terms, category, and it will link to term archives. Let's style the button. Now that we have some content inside the container, let's head back and take a look at the alignment options. So we have left, center, right, and space between. So this one fills the entire container with equal space between each of your items. We will go with center here. Let's set our display rule to post. All post, hit publish, and let's take a look. Now I just want to show you how to add the feature image with your post meta design easily. We will need a second container. Inside the container, we will add a dynamic image block. Type will be featured image. Let's update and refresh our page. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.